Hey guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part five of our building a Discord bot in Python 2024 edition. And in today's episode, we are going to be adding custom statuses for our Discord bot. Uh, we will have multiple statuses that will be looped through every certain amount of seconds of our choice. And uh, you will see them change live as your Discord bot is online. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that in the description of this video is a link to my channel and my community's official website at houseofcode.xyz. Right now the webpage does not have much to offer, but you can sign up and claim yourself a username that nobody else has taken just yet. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go on line 5, and we're going to go ahead and type in from ItterTools import cycle. Didn't think of that for a second. But, after that, on line 2, uh, we're going to type in a comma and add in tasks from discord.ext. Uh, ItterTools is something that should already be installed with Python, so you don't have to worry about pip installing anything today. But now that we have those out of the way, let's go ahead and make our bot statuses. So uh, under bot, I'm just gonna type in a variable and call it bot statuses. And I'm gonna set it equal to cycle. And then in here, I'm gonna pass in a list, and this list is gonna contain all of our bots statuses. So we can do status one. And for this other one, we can do hello from paradoxial. And then we can do status code one, two, three, just making something up. And then for this other one, I'm just going to be a sellout. So we have four uh, statuses here. Status one, hello from Paradoxial, status code one, two, three, and then subscribe to Paradoxial. So that's just four statuses that we want our bot to loop through. Now that we have done that, we need to actually make a function that's going to loop through these uh, statuses. So to do that, we can type in at tasks.loop. And in here, we're gonna pass in an argument called seconds. And this is basically going to tell the bots how long each status uh, should be posted on the uh, bot's uh, user card. So uh, we can make it as long as 30 seconds. That's how long I have my bot statuses uh, on there for. Some bots have it on there for a whole minute. Uh, but for the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm just going to have it on there for five seconds maximum. After that, so we're going to go ahead and type in a sync def, and we're going to call our function change bot status. And in here, we're going to go ahead and type in await bots.set or change presence. And then we're going to type in activity, and then we're going to type in discord.game next, and then bot statuses. And that's it. Uh, all this is doing is every five seconds, this function is going to be ran. Now, all we have to do is in our on ready function, we just need to type in before or after our bot is ready, uh, probably after. And all we need to do is just type in change bot status dot start. And this is basically saying it's going to start our change bot status as our bot comes online. So let's go ahead and run this. And our bot is ready and our cog is online, but that's not important. So let's go ahead and head to Discord. And I hope you guys can see it. But as you can see, our bot status is changing. And it's changing every five seconds as we had specified in the, um, in the looped function. So uh, we, that is it. We have achieved what we wanted. We wanted our statuses to change 
uh, every five seconds. Now again, of course, you can change this to your liking. I use 30 seconds. Some bots use upward at most a minute or maybe even longer. Uh, it, it all comes down to your decision. But uh, that is how we can add custom statuses to our Discord bot. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment telling me how your day was. And also leave a comment telling me what you might like to see next video, or what you would like to see on this channel soon in the future. I have plans to start a Discord.js series. Uh, I'm not sure when that will start, but I do plan on it at some point this summer. So stay tuned for that if you would like to learn how to make a Discord bot in JavaScript. Uh, again, uh, visit my website, link is in the description. On there, you can go ahead and sign up and claim your own username. And uh, also join my Discord server if you haven't already. We are nearing 700 members and we are still growing. In there, if you ever need help with code, we have a list of forums all to their own programming languages accordingly. And all you have to do is just make a forum, explain your problem, explain your desired outcome, and send us a snippet of your code. You can also find announcements on when uh, new uploads will be coming out, and also updates to my website as well. So be sure to join that server if you haven't already. But with that out of the way, subscribe, leave a like, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.